Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome to a, another episode of Zeno Button. Uh, first of all, I just want to preface uh, before we go into this battle. This is from actually a couple weeks ago. So I have been following the, you know, making sure I'm staying home and not doing, uh, keep, or rather following social distancing. But yeah, this is from a couple weeks back from the same Broly battle video I uploaded before this. But uh, luckily, I, upload, I recorded a couple matches from that. Um, Although it wasn't too many, so uh, I would say after this point, uh, any future battles for the foreseeable future will most likely just be me and Iris, unless I figure out a way to do some kind of online setup or untap. But you know, I think most people aren't as interested in that. But anyways, uh, I'm sorry for that. The image is a little bit cut off. Uh, I'm playing against my friend John here. He's playing the Surge Red Green, yeah, Red Green Broly. Um, you can't really see his leader; it got cut off. I'm still new to filming at locals, um, but I went first, and luckily I was able to put that Android 17 in rest. Broly attacks. If you don't know what he does, when you combo the red or green card, I believe, you draw two cards. So he's doing this Frieza, he combos it, and then he's able to uh, grab an extra card from his deck, put it in the drop, which is Dormant Legend. I still don't really fully understand the Broly chain, I've never really played it, um, and I've only played against it a handful of times. I just know you need that card in the drop. I'm not exactly sure, but he's drawn two right there, so it's pretty decent. Um, and I just took took the one hit, and then uh, I believe he passed. So, um, like I said, this was kind of like a, a new matchup for me. Um, I, as you'll see, you either freaking draw all of your multicolor charges like that, or you draw none of them. It's super annoying, but this matchup I got lucky. If you see, if you saw my other Broly matchup, uh, you would have seen that I don't think I drew a 17 until turn four, even though I was digging for him. Um, and I pass turn, just keep my energy open. He puts that Raditz in rest mode, and he's probably just going to slowly dwindle away on my leader. Um, that freeze is honestly great, uh, because he rips a card out of his deck, right? So he's thinning it out, and then he draws two. So when you think about it, you're kind of filtering three cards through the deck. Um, he's building up a hand. I haven't even touched his hand yet. Granted, it's only turn two, but like at this point, he's putting a little bit of pressure on me. Um, but here, I'm starting to play a little defense doing the special beam cannon. I'm just showing him it's 10k and then I get to choose a card. Um, just once again, I'm trying to play defense and just pick away at his uh, at his hand. And look, that's the champ Broly. Off the top of my head, like I said, this is a couple weeks ago. I don't remember what he does, but I know he's pretty cool and I think he has a way to be played for two energy as it looks like the activate main is, but um, so I got a little bit lucky picking that one out. Um, but yeah, this was an interesting matchup because I wasn't sure what he did. I felt like he was going to do something ridiculous when he got to a high energy total. So like Piccolo is kind of weird where you, at least for me, like I've only played it a couple times. I'm trying to find the, the mix between when do I go for the kill? When do I leave him at eight life? Because, you know, I'm leaving him at eight life. My life is slowly dwindling. He pluses a pretty decent amount. Um... So I'm like, man, am I kind of screwing myself over? Because you can leave your opponent at 8 life, and honestly, like, they just kind of get, you know what I mean? It's hard to bring them all the way down uh, at certain points. Here, I played the, the crit Gohan, um, just self-awakening. So, and then I'm sure I have some kind of boost to him, probably that sell Kamehameha. Boost them up by 15k, make them drop a card. Um, actually, no, I guess I didn't, so I think I just swung with the Gohan uh, straight 15k. That Chi Chi is super sweet in this in this deck because uh, the Chi Chi you draw a card if you have two multicolor red green so he drew three cards off that Chi Chi because uh, the Broly goes on both turns that Pan that's pretty spicy like I remember I read it and I was like oh, I remember this card this is from freaking set three um, when you combo it from the field I believe you draw a card and it gives a 5k boost something like that so I mean at this point like his his deck he's actually drawing a lot he's swinging at my Gohan. Um, which is a really good move. He's he's doing that. Like I said, I'm pretty sure he draws plus he, he draws three cards off of that. Uh, I let the Gohan die. Obviously, I didn't have a cell there, a cell Kamehameha. Or otherwise, you know, I would have spent one energy to just freaking boost him up 15k and make him ditch a card. So I mean, that kind of sucks a little bit. But maybe I had another uh, Gohan in hand because I feel like I I just took that without thinking too much. So I, I probably have another Gohan in hand if I remember right. Um, here, like, we were probably having a discussion. Like I said, this is from a few weeks back, so I don't fully remember everything. And I keep tapping. I'm like, yeah, I think 
Oh yeah, I was debating whether it was worth playing the Gohan because if he had something to counter it, but I mean, I'm spending one energy and if he taps out for it, like, you know, it's not really a big loss for me, I guess. Um, but yeah, so I think that's why I kind of let the, the Gohan go and I was like, not super worried about it just cause. Um, so here I'm swinging and then there's the cell. So I'm gonna pick one. And, and this is where this deck is honestly pretty gross. Like, you know, one energy for this, the Gohan, your self awakening, and then you pay one. And now you have to deal with a 30 crit, freaking, a 30 single strike crit, right? Um, so it's pretty devastating. And especially if you're one of those cards where it's like, oh, blow up a 20k or less or something like that. That actually adds 15k to that card for the battle. So, like, you can really, you know, like that Beerus, I think it's 30k or below, but like, if you play two of those cells, uh, you can really boost it up. And if you notice, he played the Chi Chi just to get the draw, right? Because he can do that once per turn. So, it seemed weird, like, oh, why did he combo to not do anything? It's like, well, he just wants to plus up his hand. Because if you see his hand a bit, I mean, we, he's at, I want to say, like, seven life maybe, and. I'm at five, and he has just about the same amount of cards in hand. So, and there he arrivals out that Broly. And once again, going off the top of my head, um, I'm pretty sure if he drops a card, he can snipe a card in my combo area. And I, I guess he just KOs a card uh, when he's on arrival. Uh, like I said, I apologize, it's been a couple, couple weeks since this battle. And I think at this point he's just like a 30k single strike, so I'm just like, you know what, whatever, I'll just take it. You know, I'm, I'm trying to go down to 3, like I said, it, I'm, I'm still learning this deck, but you do want to go down to 3, you know, not super super quick, but like kind of slowly make the progression. Um, I charge that Zamasu, and then here I play that Artificial Impact, KO's a card, and then you get to choose one card in your opponent's hand, so uh, honestly I, I main deck two of those. Um, probably gonna side deck a third because it's it's pretty nasty like you know you have a lot of ways to out combo cards but sometimes you just need a way to ko ignoring barrier so like he put a lot into bringing that dude out and then i just tapped three energy blew it up and ripped a card from his hand and then i was like you know i'm gonna leave my two energy up for defense and then i passed so i don't know if he charged this turn uh he probably did not because he you know i mean there's the cheat sheet uh, you know, it is a little bit of a struggle of like, do I want to uh, charge and have less of a hand or anything like that? So he put me down. I just took it because I'm like, I'm going to go down to three. I think, yeah, you, you can see I have two cell Kamehamehas in my hand. I have a Vegeta the Cruel. I was like, all right, let me bait down to three. He blew up two of my Gohan, so chances are I don't really have one right now. Um, and I think I talked this over in the other match. Like, I'm thinking of stuff to charge. Um, I'm gonna always charge green energy because the cell Kamehameha requires all of your energy to be green. Not mono green or anything like that, it just needs to be green, period. So, you know, I'm constantly charging those green uh, mono colors. I got really lucky, I have three 17 cards, so I can tap those if I have a D magic, play that. I can even take a life and untap two of the blue green, so, or if Senzu Bean, uh, you know. Just a lot of untapped potential. Although you'll usually see me tap the monocolored greens, unless I have a plan to untap, then I'm gonna tap the, the blue greens. So here, I think I literally just passed because I had nothing to play. Um, yeah, I just had a lot of like defense in hand. I think that was primarily what my plan was gonna be. Um, and there's another Frieza. I think it was, actually if I remember that, I think it was literally the next card he was gonna draw. So he plays the Frieza. Just really thinning his deck out. Um, like I said, he, he draws a lot. Um, you know, I've been doing crit attacks. You know, I've been picking away at his hand. And he, still, and, and he did a rival. And you know what I mean? Like, he's been doing a decent chunk of stuff. So here, once again, I have no idea how that card is played. I forgot what it does. I remember I read it and I'm like, this is annoying. I have a lot of energy. I'm just going to do that old classic hidden potential. Um, you know, my, my hand's pretty decent at this point, And I'm really just trying to whittle his hand down until like there's really not much he can do and then i just out combo um i probably didn't have a piccolo special beam cannon because at that point you know i would have just used that because i only needed to go up to 20k but you know you got to do what you got to do sometimes you know just like i said to the pick away at his hand passes back to me I still have an awaken and like this piccolo leader like if you no, geez i got freaking four 17s um 
But like, yeah, if you, if you don't really do anything to Piccolo and you let him get to, what is this, turn seven, and they haven't awakened, and you know, I'm at three life, like, I'm gonna have a pretty fat hand at this point. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think. I don't think I really have, I, I do have the SS4 Vegeta Secret Rare in hand. But I think, I don't know if I was nervous about uh, a Topo, or maybe I didn't have a blue-green, because my deck is very focused on the Zamasu engine, uh, the, the Cell Kamehameha. So I actually, literally the only blue-green cards I have to combo are my Super Combos and those Android 17s I have in Energy. So I got four in Energy right now, so... And I haven't used Super Combo yet. But, oh, sorry, I'm, I'm playing... <laughs> went ahead a little bit, so he played Nappa. He's playing another one of that Broly. Um, he has nothing to pop on my board, so I'm like, okay. You know, whatever. I have no real counters to it because it's a 6-drop 30k. Here, at this point, I'm just going to play defense. You know, he comboed the super combo, so I guess he's at 20. I just rip, rip another card. Because that's the problem with Arrival. And here is kind of the turning point in the game. I'm playing a Vegeta the Cruel. And I kind of have to be like, you know, if he has a Denial of Hope, whatever, but I'm like, if I'm, you know, he only has, what, three cards in hand? I'm like, even if he Denial of Hope's it, I'm still kind of winning because he has such a small hand size, like, there's really nothing he can do. And if this Vegeta goes off, he's going to lose the Nappa, which means he's losing that added 10k value. And in addition to that, he's losing, a, he's warping a card from hand. So unfortunately, he didn't really have a response, so... This is what I'm going to say was kind of like the turning point where, like, he lost a lot of his hand arrivaling stuff out, and I was able to, like, kind of murder most of it. Um, although, I mean, if you notice, he still has, like, seven life, but as you saw, I had that, uh, the Seeker Rare in hand, so I was feeling pretty safe. I took the life because at this point, I'm like, I'm feeling pretty confident, and I'm like, I might as well just have an extra card in hand. Um, hopefully I have a hidden potential because maybe he has a topo in hand even though he charged two He probably runs four so he might have a topo in hand. I need to make sure this uh, Vegeta goes off and I think I'm looking at that just to make sure he doesn't blow up any cards Like on play or anything. I just know it's the combo and here. I'm trying to remember. I think I Have the super combo uh, To arrival it out or I can't remember if this is the match Okay, yeah, I remember now I'm doing the special beam cannon to just plus him up because I'm about to awaken and I didn't want to just waste an awaken for no reason essentially. And let's see, I'm doing the Roshi, comboing him, and now I think I'm searching for a blue card. Like I said, I apologize for not really remembering too, too much. Um, in here I'm doing my surge awaken. He's just going to send that Vegeta to the drop just to do it for the hell of it. Um, I'm awakening, I undraw. Or right, untap one, draw three, and then I was probably looking for a blue card, if I remember right. Let's see, I'm just plussing him up because let's see, he's at seven life, so I want to get him down to six so I can take the Vegeta and just mess him up. And then here, he uses his last card to um, minus my leader by 15 and add 10 to his, which is actually pretty nasty. Then, oh, I thought I played the Vegeta SS4 here, but I think I was just honestly trying to play it ultra safe, maybe. Then here I'm activating those two Roshis, and I'm probably just going to grab back two cell Kamehamehas. Unless I'm just doing one of the Roshis. Let's see. Yep, yeah, I'm just grabbing back two. So at this point, I have three energy open. I don't know if you saw my hand. I had like a ton of Senzu beans. Um, I don't even think he has a hand at this point. I still have two of my Surge Awakenings. So, I feel pretty safe passing, you know what I mean? Even if he had that Raditz... Well, if he had the Raditz Seeker, I'd be kind of screwed, There's now that I think about it. But I guess my, my thing was like, alright, well, he doesn't really have much. He tries playing the Broly to make me drop a card, I do Hidden Potential, and then he just passes. So, as you can see, this Piccolo, if, if you let it kind of amp up a bit, it gets pretty gross. Like, just so much defense. And then those Roshis, you have the ability to just recycle... You know, uh, I don't think I played a sacrifice negate in here, but you can re you can recycle the sacrifice negate, recycle artificial uh, impact, recycle the cell kamehameha beam cannon. And here, I literally had no blue or green cards uh, to play this dude. I guess I just didn't see a super combo this round, which is super weird, especially I drew so much. Um, and here, I'm looking at it, I'm like, 
Well, you know what? Screw it. I got a freaking hard cast. I wanted to make sure I had enough blue, um, which I did. I think he only needs three blue and however much green. And then at that point, he just scooped because um, I believe he only had six life. So he was literally, or even if he had, yeah, there, I had the next four cards, three of them were super combos. But basically, he scooped at that point because he either had seven or six life, but regardless, he had no cards in hand. So even if he had seven life, I would have taken the Vegeta. Did triple attack, crit. Um, he wouldn't really be able to do the Awaken until it was too late, like his Surge ability, because he had no cards in hand and he wasn't going to plus because of the Vegeta. So um, it was a pretty good match. I wasn't really... Uh, I had no idea what to expect. Um, it was a little bit rough for for John just because, you know, I kept, like, ripping his hand apart. And, you know, I got lucky drawing the Vegeta because if I didn't have that, I was going to have to dwindle his life down and... Uh, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't really have any other crit cards besides the Gohan. And you can only do Gohan so many times, you only have a set number of life. So that's also another option I'm kind of thinking of the deck if I want to put in that blue crit Janemba. Because usually I don't have cards and spending one blue to get out a 20k crit attacker is pretty sweet. You attack with him, throw that cell card on, and you don't need to rip your own life or anything. And you're swinging 35k crit and they're dropping a card. So that's definitely something I'm considering putting in. Um, I still really like the Zamasu engine. I think, I'm thinking of taking out Vegeta the Cruel uh, to add more of those Roshis and even add some double strikes and stuff. But I'm getting a little bit lost into, into the deck right now. I just wanted to go over the battle. So hope you guys uh, enjoyed this. Um, like I'm sure most of you in uh, America and probably globally are you know, on lockdown. So we're hoping to try to get some battles in. Uh, we, we have a fair amount of cards. Um, we got this blue green Piccolo. Iris has the red yellow Surge Goku. We ordered the, the cards for the U7 deck, but we haven't really played that. Um, we're planning on getting Draft Box 5, so we have that ordered. Um, we'll probably pick that. I know our locals are most likely to be closed, but you know, once again, just to be safe, we might have him literally drop the box outside his door. Cause, you know, Like I said, we're trying to keep the social social distancing are real things we don't want anyone getting sick or anything like that but if you enjoyed this please like comment subscribe uh, let me know if any other videos be uh, interested to see and don't forget to press that zeno button